probably brings back a lot of memories for some Amiga users, which is Shadow of the Beast, dating back from 1989, which was programmed by Reflections via the Psygnosis software label. Um, this is probably one of the most first Amiga games I ever saw running. Um, what set it apart for me really was obviously the smooth parallax scrolling and just the sheer um, fact that the game was just so playable. Um, I first saw the game in my local Dixon store at the time and opposite was an Amiga 500 which was running the classic juggler demo. Now you're probably thinking how boring he's just filming the intro credit to um, Shadow of the Beast on an Amiga. Well you'd be quite wrong. Um, You can see here a full blown arcade cabinet. And if you watched my earlier videos, um, you'd realise I'm actually running MAME on this arcade machine and also a number of other emulators. Um, the actual software which is emulating the Amiga setups on my cabinet is um, a WinUAE emulator, which is for Windows. Um, what I'm going to do just exit the emulation um, that's exited okay this is the um, game base front end uh, game base is programmed by a guy called James Burrows um, it's quite well known in the emulation scene um, you might have heard of game base ZX which is a Sinclair ZX Spectrum emulation pack which does include this, pro this front end um, also um, Game Base 64 runs this front end as well um, in this case I'm running Game Base Amiga 1.6 which is programmed by Bel uh, Gareth um, sadly he's no longer working on the project so the, the actual Game Base database hasn't been updated in a while. Um, Eli Wa has taken over it, um, but he's basically said he'll only maintain the website. He's got no plans on actually um, maintaining the uh, database to um, Bell G um, Gareth's standards. Um, as you can see here, the actual f game base front end does look very much the same as the main 32. Um, obviously. This is my X-Arcade control panel. We can scroll up games like that. Um, basically there's two sets of discs on no actually three sets of, of discs on here. There's standard ADF images. ADF is an abbreviation for Amiga Disk File. Um, Amiga Disk File um, format is basically um, an image of an Amiga disc. Uh, these are created on a, a real Amiga. Um, you can either use TrackWiz or ADF Blitzer. Um, and this reads the actual Amiga disc out track by track and sends it and saves it as a track disc image. Um, a, a lot of it, um, Amiga emulators will actually run these ADFs. In fact, it's a de facto standard. Um, as well as this, there's the SPS um, collection of um, ADF images on here as well. Again, these are just standard floppy disk images. Um, thirdly, there's the WHD load um, game packs on here as well. Uh, a li little bit about WHD load. Um, it's programmed by a, an Amiga programmer called Bert John. Uh, Bert basically became fed up of the fact that a lot of older Amiga software which ran on um, standard Amiga 500 with half meg chip half meg fast wouldn't run on the more higher spec um, machines like the Amiga 4000 so what Bert did is he programmed um, a system degrader which could fool the software into thinking it was running on an older machine um, which basically meant the games would run on um, A4000s, you know, quite well. 
Um, it's very clever how it does this. Um, in some cases, it will use a kickstart image to actually um, degrade the system so it's got enough um, chip and fast memory as an original Mega 500. That's basically the WHD load system. So what I'm now going to do is give you a tour of the game base Amiga 1.6 front end, um, which is running um, game base by James Burrows, which is the front end software. Um, obviously, as I've showed you, we'll scroll down our lists. Um, so what I'm going to do is give you a quick demo of our type. You can have a look at the Amiga version. Right, what I'm going to do is launch a WHD load version because this is basically a hard disk install running under WinUAE emulator. So you can see that there's screenshots here. That's the loading screen for the Amiga version. It's a screenshot of the game. I do apologise about the red light, that's the red eye reduction on my Nokia N95 showing up on my monitor screen. Um, I'll scroll down here. More in game screenshots of our type. Um, obviously, clicking the extras button on game base, which is here, you can view the box scan front, which is the, the front box where the game came in. There we go. Um, that's the back of the box the game came in. Obviously it's got all the nice little pictures there. Instructions. Those have been all nicely typed and preserved, so you can get the instructions on the original um, Amiga game you wish to play. Um, enough said, really. Hints, tips, and walkthroughs will obviously um, display any hints, tips, or cheats. In this case, it's giving me a cheat for the game. Um, let's close that down. Right, what I'm going to do is give you a, a quick demo of the WHD load install which is installed for this game. So I'm going to go extras, WHD load. This brings up game base's WHD run launcher. Um, obviously here you can set your quick key and any other tool types which the um, WHD loading used. Um, if you don't know an Amiga, you probably don't know what tool types are, but they're a way of actually setting options for a piece of software in the actual what, um, icon itself, basically. Um, so what I'm going to do is going to click down to start the game. Okay, we're now in the Win UAE emulator. System's been degraded to Workbench 3.1, R-Type 2, there's our loading screen. This is the actual Amiga version of R-Type now running on my arcade cabinet. Now, it was a very good um, conversion they did on this for the Amiga. Start button, one more, two players. Now, I don't know how I'm going to play this by holding the camera and also playing the game, but I'll have a go. Probably not very good, but... Oh! Life gone already. It's not the easiest of games to play one handed. Oh, power up! Oh, died again. Obviously, holding down fire was like the original arcade machine, you did a, a huge beam, which is handy for killing the baddies. 